Alright guys, breaking news, McLaren have signed Danny Ricciardo for the F1 2021 season in a deal that pretty much confirms that Sainz will now be heading to Ferrari but this changes absolutely everything, this means that Alonso's chances of returning to Ferrari next season are gone uh, there was also rumours of Fettel going to McLaren, those rumours now are also gone assuming that they will be keeping Lando Norris their lineup for 2021 is going to be Norris and Ricardo. It does leave a seat open at Renault, but Renault are unlikely, in my opinion, to be a top team. I don't think they're going to be competing for race wins in 2021. So would Fettel want to go there? Would Alonso want to come back to F1 to take a chance with Renault? He said he was only interested in coming back to a race winning car. And in my opinion, I, I, there's no guarantee Renault will be a race winning car, I think McLaren's a lot more likely to be competitive and up there for the 2021 season and uh, yeah so yeah, Daniel Ricciardo is at McLaren and that means Carlos Sainz must be about to join Ferrari or else or else Carlos Sainz is <laughs> if not that means he is out of a race seat for next season so uh, the grid I think is going to be shaking up quite a bit we're gonna, probably going to have Sainz and Leclerc at Ferrari I mean, who knows who's going to be at Mercedes. Yet there was also maybe rumours of maybe Fettel and Hamilton. Could have been a straight swap. And if Hamilton was going to Ferrari, that would leave a door open for Fettel at Mercedes. But again, it looks like that's gone now because it's going to be Sainz and Leclerc. So, I don't know. It's hard to see where Fettel's going to be next season. And I think this news pretty much squashes any chance of Alonso coming back. And Alonso was tweeting and saying how... I think he, I think he was saying how he had a, a driver a, a line up um, a drive lined up for next season, but I don't know whether he, he had and then things have changed or or maybe Alonso's plan was to return to Renault in two thousand twenty one. I don't know, but I mean this this is very interesting. So Dan Ricciardo, seven time race winner, will be at McLaren. They will have the Mercedes engine for two thousand twenty one. I think McLaren could be a force to be reckoned with. Carlos Sainz, I think will give Leclerc a good battle at Friday. I think Carlos Sainz is underrated. And yeah, so Fettel currently without a drive for next season. And it looks like Alonso will not be returning, or at least not returning in a race winning car because it, I don't see Alonso getting a Red Bull drive. It's, it's hard to see Mercedes taking a chance on Alonso with Hamilton there. He obviously won't be going to Ferrari now. And would Alonso return to McLaren? Possibly, but I think it's good. Unless they're planning on getting uh, rid of Lando Norris at the end of the season, then that's also an off seat that has been occupied. So, yeah, I mean, pretty early to make these deals, but I'm surprised that you'd have thought maybe the Carlos Sainz deal would have been announced first, but it wasn't. It was a Ricardo one, which pretty much must mean that Sainz to Ferrari is imminent. So anyway, let me know what you think down below. I think this is a good career move for Danny Ricardo. Is he better off taking a chance at McLaren than he is at Renault? I think he is. I mean, I think McLaren are more likely next year to be competing for race wins and titles than Renault. But anyway, that's my opinion. Let me know what you think down below. And until next time, peace.